and welcome back to the quarry garden. It's been a few weeks since I videoed but the garden's moved on particularly the white garden where I am at the moment and I'm going to add this a lovely new plant that I managed to get a hold of in the last few days and it's an actia and it's brunette which is obviously the white form the white flower form and it has lovely white which are just starting to form lovely white spiky kind of like bottle brush flowers in mid to late summer lovely purple foliage and I don't have much um, different coloured foliage in the white garden and that's what I'm trying to add in the next few weeks so this will go here um, where the spade is right next to the Annabelle hydrangea and I think that'll look nice the contrast between the big uh, spheres of white flowers from the Annabelle to the spiky flowers of the Actia so I'm looking forward to adding that one as you can see behind me the star of the show in early June is this um, spirea and that one is snow mound I do believe and it's gorgeous and I'll bring you in a little bit closer to see that in a moment but what I'll do is I'll add this first and I'll just give you a quick glimpse of the white garden as it is here in early June the actia planted just a couple of things to add it likes moisture retentive rich fertile soil which it is here um, size wise about four to five feet probably won't reach its full potential until next year similarly as the annabelle hydrangea next to it width wise about two feet so it should fill in this area quite nicely won't need to add anything else um, flowers from about midsummer onwards and the leaves apparently turn a lovely um, mahogany color as we turn into autumn time so that should look really good here in the white border trying to add obviously this different types of leaf texture and colors um, in what is obviously a, a very white border so hopefully it should do well but why don't i give you a glimpse of the white garden here in early june before i head down into the bottom of the quarry to plant some hostas and some astilbies
So the second job of today is to add these astilbes and these hostas to this new area, which I started probably about this time last year. Um, split all of the hostas I had as sway in the garden and I brought them down here and they've actually done really well. It's very wet here. It's very um, heavy clay down here. And obviously all the rain and any moisture comes down the bank side. So they seem to like it and they're doing very well. I've got three estilbes, which I had elsewhere in the um, top part of my borders. And they never flowered. They actually um, sort of fizzled out, fizzled out by the middle of um, summer. But down here, I've got flower spikes, so I'm looking forward to those because I've never seen them flower and I can't even remember what flowers there are, whether they're the, the colour of them. But anyhow, what I'm going to do today is add some more because um, I seem to have found the right formula for this area. So three more stilbies. This one here is Vision in Pink and this one grows, let me just check, approximately 50 by 40 centimetres. And like all the still bees and hostas, they're kind of like partial shade, some sun, but partial shade. So that one should do here. And it says it thrives in any soil that's moist during the summer, which is here. The next one I'm going to add is this one here. And this one is Professor Van, D Van, De Van Der Wielen. Professor Van Der Wielen. Try saying that when you wear braces, very difficult. Um, it says it's a German selection from many years ago, but still one of the best whites. Large in all its parts, lush green foliage topped with magnificent white plumes. Height 120 centimetres, so that's a real tall one. So that will go to the back of the border. And then lastly in the Silbies, I've got this one here, which is a very small wee one. And this one is Chinensis, again, braces, Chinensis Visions. And that's a compact form and that's about 40 centimetres. And that seems to have lovely red, um, deep red flowers, bright mauve flowers. So that should good, look good. Um, as for the hostas, I've got two hostas. Elegans, which is this one at the front, which is kind of like a, a bluey green colour. And that one um, is 30 by 90 centimetres, which is 12 foot by three feet. So that should grow to a nice size. The smaller variegated one is Forbidden Fruit. Never even heard of that one. And that one grows 40 to 70, 40 to 70 centimetres. Like all hostas, they're like mainly partial um, sun, half shade. Don't like to be in full sun. There is some hostas that will tolerate full sun, but you would need to obviously check those out before you purchase them. And then this hosta here, in the Wheel of Borough is one that I cut and split rather uh, in early spring. Never got round to planting it, so I've just been keeping it watered in a pot. Not ideal if you actually take and split a hosta in the spring and not to get it in the ground straight away. I've managed to keep it going, probably won't look its best till next year. Don't know what that variety is. Um, I've had it so long elsewhere in the garden, but it should look good down here and it should cope okay seems to be still alive in anyhow. So what I'll do is I'll actually get all of these in and I'll show you the end results.
Well, that's it for today. Covered in mud from head to toe. But at last I feel like I'm getting somewhere and it's starting to resemble a garden, which is really exciting. What you can't see is what's on this side though. But I'll save that for another day. So thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now.